so hey guys in this video we'll be solving questions based on what we'll be solving questions based on the second order transfer functions in which we have to find out the rise time peak overshoot everything we'll be discussing in this video itself the question is we have to find the second order system transfer function is given okay which is cfs by rfs it is given as what here it is given 25 by s square plus 6s plus 25 is the cfs by rfs which is the transfer function okay so that is over here we have to find its rise time peak time peak overshoot settling time if subjected to unit step input also calculate the expression for the output response so everything will be dealing in this question so whenever you get to find the rise time and all first thing you need to find is the natural frequency which is omega n and zeta damping ratio okay so these two you have to find first that is very important now how to find that so whenever you have you have given one transfer function always remember that transfer function you have to compare with the standard transfer function second order transfer function okay now what is second order transfer function it is omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square this you have to compare with the question transfer function so when you compare what do you get to know here omega n square is sitting here also omega n square should be there so here 25 is there here 25 is there that means can i write omega n square is equal to 25 when i compare yes i can write so from that can i write omega n is equal to square root of 25 which is equal to 5 yes i got omega n which is natural frequency now if i compare 2 zeta omega n s with 6 s what will happen so 2 zeta omega n s i am comparing with 6 s from here 6 uh, sorry s and s get cancelled so what is left out we know the omega n value which is nothing but 5 so i have substituted 5 so 2 zeta into 5 is equal to 6 so 2 5 are 10 10 will go that side it will get divided so 6 by 10 will be 0 0.6 this is nothing but zeta damping ratio after getting this solely you can find any one of the any of the questions asked that means rise time peak time for that you need zeta and omega n it is very important okay so a formula you can see starting with the rise time tr is equal to pi minus theta by omega d pi minus theta by omega in this we know only pi value right you only know pi value now what is the uh, theta value what is omega d value that we have to find now theta value is given by the formula tan inverse of square root of 1 minus zeta square divided by zeta this is the formula that formula if you substitute i will then you have to substitute and find out theta then you substitute here okay now next how to find omega d omega d formula is omega n into square root of 1 minus zeta square this formula is out by art okay no other choice now i'll substitute a tan theta so zeta value we have got it as what 0 0.6 right that i have substituted over here 0 0.6 the uh, six, 6 square okay so from that you will get the value units is very important theta unit is nothing but radians not degree it is radian. after getting theta i have to find out omega d also so omega d value uh, formula we have discussed that is this one when i substitute omega n value which is 5 which we have got already yeah here i got 5 same thing and zeta value also you know substitute you will get to 4 radian per second this is the unit for omega d okay after getting theta and omega d can i find out rise time yes you can find out just substitute in the formula pi minus theta by omega d pi is there theta you got and omega d also you got after substituting always remember whenever time is there unit is always seconds have got after substituting getting this answer then next is peak time peak time very simple formula it is pi by omega d pi you already know and omega d value already got it it's nothing but 4 radian per second that you have substituted here so pi by 4 with nothing but 0 0.785 the third part which is the peak overshoot Which is given by the formula representation percentage mp formula is e power minus pi zeta divided by under root of 1 minus zeta square this is the formula okay into 100 so we'll substitute here which is equal to e power 
minus pi so it will be e power minus pi into zeta zeta value is 0 0.6 divided by so this uh, for a little bit confusion will be there so i'll write it over here that is e power minus pi into zeta is 0 0.6 divided by square root of 1 minus 0 0.6 square okay into 100 we will be getting the value as 9.48 percentage now the fourth part we have to find the settling time also settling time formula is given by representation is ts it is given by 4 by zeta omega n so 4 is given zeta value is 5 uh, sorry zeta value is over 0 0.6 and omega n value is 5 so when you substitute this values you'll be getting 1.33 seconds okay this also we got and the last and final thing we have to find out which is nothing but the output response also which is c of t okay c of t we have to find the formula for that also you have to remember the fifth part will solve which is the output response output response c of t okay c of t which is given by 1 minus e power minus zeta omega n into t divided by square root of 1 minus zeta square into sine omega d t plus theta so this is the output response formula so i'll be getting 1 minus e power now here we are getting what minus zeta what is zero zeta value 0 0.6 into 5 into what we are getting t t you can keep it as it is okay we have to get the output response it will be in equation form okay divided by 1 minus zeta square which is 0 0.6 square into what we are getting sine omega d omega d value we got it as 4 4 into t plus theta theta value we got it as 0 0.9272 right so this will be my answer you can further if you want you can simplify which part you will simplify you can simplify so what you can simplify you can take uh, i'll just show you what you have to do so one minus now this part is sitting down right this part is if you solve and you take one by that thing see it is sitting down so you take one by one minus uh, one minus 0 0.6 square this you solve when you solve that thing you will be getting 1.5625 then you put e power e power 0 0.6 into 5 so 3 so minus 3t into sine sine 40 plus 0 0.9272 will be your final answer okay this will be your final c of t output response i hope you understood all all concepts but the thing is that you need to remember the formula if you remember the formula then it is quite easy just the comparison part that's all rest all things are easy